We got a party pooper right here. Uh, she's been naked the past 15 minutes. No, 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 no. She stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. The reason that a lot of this is going on is because a lot of people in Brazil are misinterpreting uh, the things that I'm saying in English and they don't really know how to speak English that well and they they're misinterpreting a lot of things because I don't say anything negative about Brazilian so it's that's why it's so shocking to me to have this going on at first this is very heartbreaking to me the fact that uh, it was always my dream to live in Brazil and my YouTube channel was centered around me showing other men not just the women but just if you if you guys understand English and you watch my videos, you see me talk about how I enjoy just, first of all, we can start with just the drinks on how well the drinks are in Brazil. I love the drinks in Brazil over any other country I've been to, even my home country. The food is a lot more healthy. I have a lot more energy. My skin glows a lot better in Brazil. Everything about me is better in Brazil. But I'm, I'm very heartbroken knowing that because this whole situation is going on that Imagine if I listen what I hate I gotta say I never give a broke bitch anytime of day You ugly when you jealous bitch Look at that face I'm hot right now and you're not okay Oh you big man, oh you big man Got a big bag, popping big tags All white Rover, yeah whip that Are the graphics in place? What about the thumbnail? Alright, let's do this What's going on everyone? This is Star, welcome to the channel And happy Friday We're not wasting any time The main topic, the passport bros all right, the next clip I'm about to play for you guys is a black man who went to New Mexico to be with his queen. And after she got the D, guess what? She kicked him out. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I appreciate the love, man, and the prayers come from the last post I made. You know, I only got a couple hours left at this motel. I'm sure in the diner with no money. Um, I don't normally do this, man, but, you know, I'm begging for a little financial help. Just give me a couple more nights at this motel so I can come with a game plan. Um, if y'all can help me out, man, that'd be appreciated. I mean, $70 per night. At least give me a couple more nights, man. That way I can muster up a game plan and see what I can come up with. And I still gotta get the rest of my stuff at her house. Like I said, I appreciate all the prayers and, you know, y'all coming through and I'm thankful. I mean, I'm just, I know this is a mistake that I made uh, coming down here trying to start a new life, you know, that's something I have to take accountability for because that was a dumb decision, you know. Um, I gave my life from up north in Pittsburgh to come down here, man, you know. I guess I fell for the foolishness of believing, you know, she told me she'll help me with everything, get me on my feet, make sure I'm good, you know. And that's my fault for fully investing in that. You know, I didn't even get a chance to even get my things together. Um, even down to change my address. Uh, like I said, that's my fault. And I got to take accountability for that because I, I took a chance, but I took a bad chance of believing in someone that, you know, I thought believed in me. It's what I don't understand is, you know, she drove from New Mexico to Pittsburgh to grab me and drives me all the way down here. Starts every little argument with me because of her anxiety or whatever, which I have it too. And tells me I got to get up because she's stressing over some bills, which her rent's only three fifty, and her utilities are maybe 100 a month. And she has two jobs. You know, I just, I don't, I, I don't understand the situation either. Uh, it kind of confused me, you know, but that's what I get for believing in someone who didn't even really believe in me. Lord help him. You know, I was going to do a chessboard analysis on the Manosphere in the Passport Bros, but I'm going to hold off on that because I'm going to see if my predictions come true. Yeah, I think that's better. People do not need to know everything that I'm thinking. I'd rather sit back and observe and see if the things that I'm thinking is actually going to come to pass. Have you guys seen these debates that black men are having with white men? Oh my God, it's crazy. Black men are constantly screaming, oh, education doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Education matters a lot in a debate. Statistics matters a lot in a debate. You should be educated. These black men are stuck. And I don't understand why. I don't know if it's because they never had a dad. Fathers are very important in the home, even if the mother and father don't get along. 
they need to get along for the children. Don't you think? I mean, that's the best thing for the child. Have you noticed that a lot of black men are unable to control their emotions? Have you all noticed this? It's time out for turning the blind eye to the obvious. Even the dating coaches are having a hard time with their emotions. So no wonder these young men are out of control. These men are too focused on what all women are doing. The only people you need to be focused on is the person you're pursuing. Or if you're in a polyamorous relationship, you should be focusing on two, three, four women. But these men are setting themselves up if they think they can control all the women in the world. That is a setup. Men have a big problem with rejection. Rejection is a part of life. Is it not? I don't know one person in my personal life that has been told yes their entire life. It's just not realistic. Every man can't have the baddest bitch and every woman can't be with the richest man. It's not realistic. Where did y'all grow up where y'all believe that there's no such thing as rejection and that you're supposed to get what you want 100% of the time? Where did y'all grow up? Let's go ahead and move on to the next topic because these men refuse to wake up. Let's talk about the passport girls going to Brazil for cheap cat because basically that's what's going on. But what's going on now is that the $40 that you're giving these women, it's not enough for you to disrespect them. And why are y'all shoving camera phones in these women's faces? This is not high school. Y'all supposed to be grown ass men. I mean, damn, get it together. Why can't black men make their transactions quietly? Why must everyone know their business? Do not be surprised if we start hearing stories in Brazil about black men being found unalive on the streets, in abandoned buildings, in alleyways, wherever. These men are tired of you disrespecting their women. See, everybody understands that you hate your women, but that doesn't go for all the rest of the men. They love their women. Are the men in Brazil willing to unalive black men for their women? Absolutely. That's why they're giving out a warning. What's the guy's name, Austin? He's lucky. They could have easily dragged him somewhere and harmed him or unalived him. These men think that by giving these Brazilian women $40, they have a right to disrespect them. No, you don't. $40 ain't shit. Since nobody's talking to these young men, guess what's going to happen? Another person's going to get unalived. Go and get your speech ready. All right, kids, let's move on to the next story. We're going to talk about the University of Alabama, the basketball player who unalived a young woman for turning down his advances. Here we go again with rejection. This is Darius Miles, and he was charged with capital murder. For some strange reason, these men don't understand that there's always another woman around the corner that will gladly give you their number, but instead, they'd rather go to prison. As long as you're crying and feeling sorry for yourselves in front of the world, nothing's going to change in your life. The clip I'm about to show you is really sad. I've said time and time again that crying gets you nowhere. Go ahead and roll the clip. When women needed men, families worked out. As soon as women didn't need men, now all of a sudden families don't work out. To try to circle that back and try to pin that on men for not being nicer or not doing more or not going above and beyond to be an above average man for this average chick, you're telling men basically get out there, tap dance in a top hat and, and be excellent for these chicks. You know, it's yeah, not, what you're yeah, saying is be know. excellent or pull up or like go above and beyond. I would view as like bare standards for being a decent human being. If your only way of getting a girl ever was you, like you, relying no, on the no, fact that she couldn't work, quick. that means you're a weak man. That means that you just don't I offer know. anything. You, you you're you're to, nothing. Like you're just a body that shows up at a factory, puts something together, and then goes home and thinks that that's enough to like land you some sort of relationship. And in the past it was, but I think it's a little bit sad that our standards would, would revert to that and that we think it should go back to that. Like, oh God, like this woman can work a, a job and now the fact that my paycheck isn't enough to win me a wife means that I'm completely and totally lost and hopeless, I think it's time to like step up and like be an actual decent person, like figure out how to be uh, emotionally available in a relationship, figure out how to be a good partner, figure out how to make a woman date you other than the fact that like society says she's not allowed to work a job and get a paycheck. Why do black men take pleasure in displaying their weaknesses to white men? What is that? I understand you guys didn't have fathers, but you did have uncles. Obviously, you all never read The Art of War. Okay, 
No one's going to respect you if you show you have no control. Do you all see the chessboard that's laid out in front of us? Do you see what I see? Yeah, this is going to be fun to watch. Get your popcorn. I'm Star. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. And I will talk to you guys next week. Good night. You couldn't pay me to date a man that bows down to a wife.